Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Jennifer Marie VO, where I review different websites on how you can make money online. Now a lot of my websites focus on tutorials on making money as a transcriber or as a transcriptionist or a captioner or even going and getting paid to test websites. Now the problem that everyone runs into is that when they get accepted, all of a sudden they are ready to work and there's no jobs available. And this is because there are so many different people who are doing the same thing, who are just sitting there on their computers, refreshing, reloading the page to try to get the jobs first. So it can be really frustrating when you've passed the test and you're ready to work and you can't work. Say you have an account with Rev, you have an account with QA World, Scribby, and you're trying to monitor all of these different websites at once, just sitting on your computer, clicking refresh, 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 waiting for a job. It's annoying, it's frustrating, and it takes time. So I wanted to think if there was a way where you could have a software or a tool to automatically refresh these pages for you and alert you when there is a job available. And that way, you know, you will know right away um, and it will save you a lot of time and you'll be able to work. So I'm really excited about this tutorial because I have found a way to do this and I think this is going to be really helpful for a lot of you. So this video, please, if you like it, uh, subscribe to my channel and click like on the video because that does support me as a creator. So first of all, let me show you the plugin and let me tell you that it's free. All of this is free. I'm going to show you two different tools today and both of them are free. So you don't have to worry about paying any money. So. First of all, you have to use Google Chrome because these are both Chrome extensions. And the first one I want you to install is called Auto Refresh Plus. Okay, I've just removed the extension from my Chrome browser so I can show you how to install it in case you've never installed an extension before. When you go to this website, you'll just see this little button here that says Add to Chrome. So you'll just click that. Then it will ask you if you want to add the extension and you'll click Add Extension. Okay, and then the extension will pop up right here in the tools menu. So the first demonstration I want to show you is how you can use this, for example, with QA World. So let's say we're on QA World right now. And at the bottom here, it says transcripts available to edit. It says there are no calls available at this time. Please check later. So what you have to do is when you're waiting for work, you have to right click um, and you press reload or you press control plus R. So let's do that. And again, transcripts available to edit. There are no calls available. Oh, and now it's just popped up. Okay, so now some are available. So they're automatically showing you that they're available, but you can see how quickly people are taking these calls. And sometimes the reloader within the website itself isn't as fast as it would be if you were manually doing it. So what we can do here is we're going to click on this icon and it says here, you can have an automatic refresh, an auto refresh of whatever intervals you want. So you have five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Now, as you can see, people take these jobs so quickly. So you really need to have something like this on monitoring it so you can jump on there right away to get a job if you're desperate to work. So let's say I wanna plug in my own. I can put in three seconds, for example. And then what I'm gonna do is click Start. And this will just, as you can see here, there's a little timer and it's automatically refreshing it. And now, boom, look, there's 20 available. Oh, now there's still 20 out of 41. So it's doing this auto refresh. So I don't have to manually refresh it. Okay, now I'm gonna, if you wanna stop that, click on this, we can click stop. Okay, so another thing you can do is if right now you can see, even though we've stopped it, QA World has their own built-in thing that's automatically showing you this going down. So let's say you're watching a show on TV and you're, you've been waiting for like 30 minutes for a call to pop up here and there's been nothing. So if you're not actively watching this, you might not know that there are any calls available. It might just say there are no calls available because you haven't looked. So what would be nice is if you could have a way to hear a sound when this pops up. So every website you use this on will be different, but what you want to look for is a word that will be different once there are jobs on the page. So for example, for QA world, I came up with the word showing because if there's no jobs available, this word won't be there. So you can copy this word or just type it yourself. And what we'll do is we'll go to auto refresh plus. And then here 
we're going to click on advanced features. Now here this gives you some more auto refresh options. So what we're going to do is go down to page monitor and we're going to click enable this feature. Then we're going to put a sound so you can choose one of two different sounds. Or you can even put your own sound if you have a little URL to your own sound that you like. Then you can adjust the volume. I'm just going to click with the first one. And I'm going to change the volume down here. Okay, another thing I wanted to note is that this pop-up notification, this sound, will pop up when it finds this target text. So we're going to use the one showing. But you can also choose pop-up notification once it loses the target text. So what that means is over here, oh, it's just gone. But before on this QA world, it said there are no calls at this time. So you could also put in here that there are no calls at this time. And that way, as soon as that is gone, you'll also know that there are jobs available. So every website will be different. Um, so you can have maybe a little, make a little notepad on your computer with different keywords for each one when you're setting this up, when you want to start working. Now, this is, these are the options for all the pages. So I'm just going to click save now, and then we're going to go back to QA world. So now what we'll do to start monitoring, we'll click this. Now that we've turned the page monitor on, it's here and this, we can change it for this page. So again, we're going to put pop-up notification once it finds this text. What we wanted to put was showing. Okay, and see, we're gonna do that, press start. So now every three seconds it's refreshing and we're waiting until this showing pops up so we can have this little notification pop up and the sound telling us there's a job available. Okay, so you see how that's worked? Now this is, we've set it so it's gonna keep going. I've just clicked the tab. So now I could quickly go and boom, click start work and, and start working on this call if I wanted to. And then it automatically turns off once you press that notification. You see at the top here it says yes. So you could click on that and press start again to start this whole thing again. Okay, so that's my demonstration with QA World. So again, this is something you can use for all sorts of different websites, for QA World, for Rev, for Scribby. Some of them have their own built-in refreshers, so you don't need to, but one like Scribby, for example, it doesn't. So you could just put in auto refresh, five seconds or whatever you want. And you don't have to use this page monitor. This is just if you don't want to be sitting by your computer and watching this screen. But if you're, you know, if you are okay with that, then you can just use this normal one here. Okay, I'm gonna click stop. Now, one of the websites that it doesn't work for is casting words, which is annoying, but this is because when you go to available jobs, it's, show, it's doing the, its own thing that it's filtering out the ones I don't qualify for because under all jobs, there's 167, but the ones that are available to me, it's only, it's zero because I haven't reached the level for the other, the other ones. And if I refresh this even normally, all of a sudden it looks like I have all these jobs, but it, it's refreshing the all jobs and not the available jobs. And I've tried to um, use this auto refresh, but the problem is it's just showing me the all jobs and I haven't found um, a little keyword or anything that's working for the available jobs. So that's unfortunate um, that this one doesn't necessarily work for casting words, but it works for every other platform that I have tried out. Now, lastly, what I want to do is I want to show you another extension called Tab Resize Split Screen Layouts. And I've, in, I've added that extension and it's right here. And what this is for is let's say you want to view multiple windows all at once doing all the refreshing so you don't need to click because maybe some of them you don't want to use the, the sound, you just want to see it all. So what you can do is click on this and you can choose how you want to view your screen. So I'm going to, well, you can actually also put in your rows and columns. So you could say, I want three rows and three columns. If you, if you wanted to monitor nine different ones, if you just want to do two uh, and three, I'm just gonna do um, stick to the two by two. So let's just say I want to monitor four different ones. Now, the thing is with the tab resize, 
is you can't monitor within your tabs. You have to have it open in four different windows. So that's a that's no problem. Um, what I'm going to do is just say I have Rev open up in this window, and it's already it's still doing its automatic refresh. So what I'll do is just copy and paste all of these into a new window. Okay, so what I've done is I've just put all of these in its own little window and I can activate the auto refresher on each page. So I'm gonna put this on, let's say I'm gonna do this one for every five seconds, start. Now I'm for this one, I don't wanna use the page monitor, let's say. So this one is gonna automatically refresh every five seconds. I can do this as well. Auto refresh every five seconds. I'm pretty sure transcribe me automatically auto refreshes, but let's just turn it on for fun anyways. And then this one, let's just turn this one on for fun. Rev does do an automatic refresh that you see the jobs, but you won't actually get to see them here. So let's click on auto refresh as well. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just sitting here and I'm able to view all four windows at once. And right now I'm seeing, I've got 112 files I can do in Scribby. I'm seeing all of these QA world files um, coming up. I'm seeing all of these ones, these new jobs coming up on Rev. Um, so this is an awesome way that you can literally set this up for yourself on your computer and then just start working as soon as you see something pop up. And you can also remember adjust the view size too. So I could zoom, really zoom out for each and every window if I wanted to be able to see everything uh, better. Okay, and when you want to stop all of this crazy refreshing, we can just click stop on each one. Okay, so I am really excited to share these tools and these tips with you guys because I know it is so frustrating for people to get accepted into these programs and then not be able to do any work. So this is a way where you can monitor without having to be tied down to your computer and just have it kind of sitting in the background especially if you put these notifications with sounds. And that way, when there is a job available, you can run like Sonic to your computer and click start work. Um, and that's why I think it's so important not only to be accepted into one program, but into multiple programs. So if you have an account with Transcribe Me, with Scribby, with QA World, with Rev, with all these uh, different platforms, there's always going to be something that you can do. Maybe not in one, but maybe in another one. And so using a tool like this has everything setting up for you. So you're not sitting there like crazy going refresh, reload, reload on every single page, getting frustrated. So I really hope you like this video because I'm really excited um, to share this with you guys. So please, if you like this video, click like and share your comments on some different websites that you've tried this on. And please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos on how to make money online and tips for making money online as well. Thanks for watching.